He followed it all the way up here. Let's go right back in there. There's a big old snapper right here, y'all. I'm gonna see if I can get him. Huge snapping turtle. I just arrived at one of my favorite spots to go fish um, it's raining off and on pretty good today so that should provide a lot of cover for these fish to feel comfortable to hit so I expect a lot of bites even though I'm gonna be getting wet man but it's worth it so let's get out here and see what we can catch you know what time it is do you know what time it is it's fish time to show. So you got some top water action right now. It's a little frog, a zoom frog. And I went weedless with it, so I could get in some pretty tight spots. Look at that action. That's awesome. So surprisingly enough, the water clarity is pretty clear. It's been raining for the past two days. And I don't understand how it's still clear, man. But not to be complaining. We're gonna get out here and enjoy the day. And see what we can catch, man. Something's over there. This bait might be a little too big for him, but let's see. I think I'm about to switch to the swim bait, y'all. Oh, he came on! No! I just skipped it close as possible to the bank because what these fish like to do is they would hide in those tree stumps and stuff like that waiting to ambush any little small fish that passes and sometimes i'd like to hit the bank and drop it right off the edge like a frog would jump in the water and i can uh get a better reaction from some of these fish man so he followed it all the way up here Let's go right back in there. There we go. We have some rainy conditions right now, but the water clarity is pretty clear, man. That's a decent first bass right there. Ooh, we got one following him. A little tinier one, but that's awesome. Come here, buddy. That's a decent first bass, y'all. If I can get him in the boat. <laughs> That's a decent first bass. Come on, buddy. Yes, sir. One and a half pounder right there. That's awesome, man. That's a decent first pass. Nice slip. Awesome. There you go. Look at that fish, y'all. Beautiful first pass. Couldn't act so bad one. Get out of here, buddy. So the main reason why I like the fish during rainstorms is because before and after a thunderstorm the biometric pressure drops and rises so you tend to have a lot more strikes from these fish because it sends them into a feeding frenzy when it rains man and 
on top of that even though you get wet the rain drops acts as a cover on top of the water and they feel a lot more safe when they come out to strike man so they tend to commit a lot more than they would normally Ooh, we got a little pack. There you go. Perfect spot. I'm stuck on a rock or something. Ooh, got a fish. <laughs> I got a fish. I was stuck on a rock trying to get it off. Oh. Here we go, boys. Nice little dink. Beautiful little fish, man. Get out of here, baby. Yeah, I stuck on some some weeds or something. All right, gang. So before we get any further in this video, I want to shout out a few people that's been showing love recently and previous times inside my videos. Um, first is Bogley's Keeping It Real. Second is Reggie Cassano. And third is Tristan Clark, man. So y'all, big up yourself. Keep on showing love to the channel. I really appreciate all of you, man. All right, y'all. So I just added a monofilament leader. As you can see, there's a lot less noticeable than that um, braid. And I feel like that's why I'm not really getting a lot of fish to attack. So let's see if that works, man. Oh, as soon as I, as soon as I changed it out, bro. <laughs> As soon as I changed that out, I wasn't getting any fish to attack my line, man. This water clarity is pretty good right now, so that's probably why, too. And they could see that line off of the hook, so let's see. Ooh, there we go. That's a bluegill, I'm pretty sure. Nice sunfish. Nice sunfish. Oh my gosh, look at that sun. That's a long eared. That's actually my first long eared sunfish, y'all. <laughs> Let's go. Look at this guy. Ouch. That's my first ever long eared sunfish, y'all. And the difference between the red breast and the long eared is the perculum flap is a little bit wider than the red breast that's awesome that's awesome i'm gonna get me a picture of this little guy and then release him back <laughs> that's my first ever long eared though there's some sketchy looking water man it's scary out here so this is a really gorgeous fish and actually a pretty decent sized one First ever long eared sunfish that I'm gonna release back right now. There he goes. <laughs> I don't know why, for some reason, just now, I thought I was in Florida and I thought that was a freaking alligator. I was just about to run, but yeah, I wouldn't be waiting in Florida. I'm gonna need a boat. That's crazy. That almost made me run out of the river. Not that big. That's another one though. That's three from this same hole already, y'all. That's a pretty good hole. There's no telling how much fish down there. Like I said, I seen like five of them chasing the first one. Wow.
Just chill out, man. I'm trying to get you out of here. One's out. That's how you get your weeds off. Nice guys. There we go. Nice. These are little tiny ones, man, but I don't even know if that's a oh, yeah that is. Those smallie. Relax, buddy. Yay! All right, I, I, I catch you, you stick me, it's fine. Nice little small mark. Get out of here, buddy. All right, gang, so I'm headed back to the car right now. Um, The river is at an incline, so the water speed is like super fast and it's working really hard against my legs so i'm about to head back um and fish on the way back and hopefully catch a good couple amount of bass and bluegill and sunfish or whatever i don't want to bite the line man so i'll keep you all updated so as i was making my way back the river rose significantly uh like it's high that wasn't that high when i first came down and so I'm having to climb up on the bank and walk along the side to get back to shallower water. I think it's really high, man. There's a big old snapper right here, y'all. I'm gonna see if I can get him. Huge snapping turtle. Huge snapping turtle, y'all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this granddaddy snapper, y'all. Oh. Got a leech on the back of its head. That's a big snapping turtle, man. He is strong. <sighs> Look at that. A piece of his tail is missing. Whoa! Alright. I ain't gonna get no pictures of him. I wish I had somebody take a picture of him in my hand, but look at that snapping turtle. It's an awesome looking guy, man. This is a beast. A true dinosaur. Let's get him out of here. Bye, little buddy. Look at how high this water is now, y'all. We gotta get out of here. This thing is high and fast moving, so I'm, I'm about to try and get out of here. Yeah, I gotta get on the side. <laughs> I'm up on my tippy toes. This water is strong, man. Yeah, let me get out of here. I'm about to go on the side. The cat. <laughs> 